I'm going to do something a bit different. So I've done this when I first made my channel. There's two videos on my channel, the first two. They are obviously of this jigger. <clears throat> but with the modifications I've got coming up, up up. Yeah, one. Not at mine. I'm out the missos. So I thought this would be a good little spot, bit of grass, bit of half. Get her all like flexed up. But yeah. Anyway, today we're gonna talk about well, I'm pretty much just gonna run through what I what I done to my car when I built it, uh, what's got in it. Um I just in the last video, I've got a tray, a new tray, because I don't like this one, but we're just gonna go through what I'm doing. So um this here is my uh actually what year is it? She's uh where is it? Oh she's in October 89. So yeah, it's my October 1989 HJ61 Land Cruiser modified U. So it is a 2H uh HJ61. I've obviously stuck 12 HT in it. It is manual, fast speed. So typical old H55F and 12 HT combo. Um, it's painted blue. The paint for this car is actually red. So you can see in some spots where it's like chipped away at paint under the bonnet. There are flakes of red coming through because this car wasn't fully stripped back. I stripped most of it back, bits I didn't care about, I just scratched it up, painted it over with primer. But yeah, so she's a um, HJ61, uh, I call it the 60 Ute, everyone calls them chops, dirty 30s, you call it a dirty 30 you're a wanker. So this is my yeah, 60 Ute. If you're in the 60, 60 world or you know that motor, you know how much that motor costs so I just spent the money and had it rebuilt same with the gearbox I had a Land Cruiser specialist rebuild the gearbox um, that come all the way up from Newcastle that was a good day trip so um, just a bit of background I've had 60s since I could drive my first car was a HJ61 Sahara VX which is top of the range uh, dad gave it to me slash I bought it off him when he went his new rig which he's got a VDJ 76 which I don't like too much they're not bad to drive great for towing cars home um, apart from that I film on cruises and it is windy as hell out here so sorry if it destroys the audio but I'm trying to hide the wind but so what I've done to this car obviously is I've put 75 series suspension in it I have you chopped it because I um, had wagons since I could drive I couldn't find the root use for a wagon even though we we're building a wagon for the missus so yeah she looks very clean in here the way the upholstery was done a lot better than other chopped Land Cruisers. Some of which are very famous because people who own them get around on different YouTube channels. Some of you may know who I'm talking about, but um, this, I built this car kind of because of that, but also I've always wanted a ute. Uh, I don't fit behind the wheel of a 75 series comfortably. I like my 60s, I like what they have, I like the way they drive, I like everything about them. I just don't like that you couldn't buy a 60 series Land Cruiser Ute. So I built one and it took about 15 months. So let's do it. Keep going for now. So yes, yeah, so I put a 2 meter by 1.9 meter tray on it, which is custom made. I built that in a mate's shed. Uh, so it's got full 75 series 
Land Cruiser suspension, so it moves the diff back six centimeters. I had to have a custom tail shaft made for it. That's literally the only thing in the car that's not Land Cruiser, is because it's a custom tail shaft. Uh, I couldn't find a tail shaft out of another Land Cruiser. What was, the, what was the right measurement? And if I was to do this all over again, I would extend the chassis to fit a stock Land Cruiser sh drive light, drive, uh, drive shaft, tail shaft, which would also give me a bit better wheels. It centered a wheel under the train wall, so I'd actually have proper load capacity. I find now if you put a lot of load at the back of the chassis, back of the tray, you have, it flexes the chassis just a little bit and kind of tries to pick your front wheels up. So I'm very careful with how I load this. Um, the new tray I'm building, as you see in the last video, it is slightly narrower, same length. So it's same length as, or, you know, what is it? It's long, same length, yeah. Just slightly narrower to get rid of that mostly. But it will be about there, each side, which isn't much, but it's enough for me. I'll also be putting a canopy on that permanently. I'm also putting a rear rack on it so I can have a rooftop on it occasionally because I'm kind of oversleeping swags and we'll go full driving and do these weekend trips. Uh, the partner's rig is going to be set up for tour, full tour or so it can have a rooftop tent on it also so it's changed between which car we put the tent on it's not easy not hard given the garage i have at home but um this car took me 15 16 months to build from the day i put a grinder through it to the day it was registered was i put a grinder through it in february 2020 and I registered it in the June, in the end of June, 2021. Um, in that time, I've also done 16,500 kilometers in this car. And in that time, I also broke my leg. So I wasn't driving this thing for about two, two to three months, I didn't drive it. Couldn't drive it, couldn't push the clutch in properly. Look at that smile. Made not paid, which I'm actually getting a sticker made up. So if you want a made not paid sticker, find us on Instagram and send us a DM. I'll put my Instagram here somewhere. So, but yeah, I'll be just setting this up so I can enjoy it. Weekend send it, we've got the fridge. So, yeah, it'll be great. But, We've also got electric windows, these cheap little things off eBay, which actually stuck on, kind of annoying. I wish I had bought the one stone armrests because they're magnetic. Um, as you see, when we're in all my, all the mud, I actually busted this end. So I'm actually gonna cut this off. So I don't actually need the cup holder, I prefer the armrest. So I'll cut off that. But we've got the electric windows. This one is upside down because it's a brand new part from a guy in Gimpy. Um, and the only ones he can source are the American ones. So it's meant to be flipped 180, but it doesn't fit. So I've already figured out how to run it, having it upside down. Then we've just got our light bars from the bull bar, which is there, my side lights. And then you get the front light there, but they're all off. That's on for the center light. It's on for the side lights. Put that back in. We've also got the Toe Pro Elite, which I've only just put in. I accidentally drilled the wrong hole first. Got a boost in the EGT gauge. Also has a triple, so it's got a vault in the middle. Then on this side, we've got my locker switch, which you've seen in the locker install part three. I've got a cheeky little switch down here, which just runs off the ignition. It literally piggybacks off your Siggy lighter, so when your ignition's on, it just puts a light on the back of the tray. I'm actually going to flip that to a relay to run work lights. I've got the phone magnet, because we all know you touch your phone while you're driving now, you get a 
pretty hectic fine. So I've got the magnet there so it sits there, doesn't do it. Occasionally when you're in gears, notice when you go past the phone camera, it looks like you're touching your phone if your hand's on the gear stick and then first or third. We've got the big double den Kenwood. I would not do that one again. I would go to a different brand, um, like a Polaris unit or something. Then we've got our little charger slash, slash uh, USB connector for the head deck. Um, I made look that up. I made cup holders out of some four inch Stano. So that one's a bit wonky donkey. That one's pretty sturdy. I've also got, and got my GME, which sits down there. Um, the steering wheel and the handbrake are both out of a HDJ79. These both came out of a 2004. Um, pretty much just because that's. I went to a Wreckers to find that. It fits. You can actually put a steering wheel cover over this. The 60 wheel is a little bit bigger, so I found in my old car with the 60 wheel with the Falcon seat. The wheel got a little bit close to your legs depending and I got the handbrake out the same HDJ just because I need a handbrake. Also brings us across to the center console which again was in my last car with the seat, Falcon seats. Um, there is also an amplifier down the back there which runs the speakers in the back here as you can see. There's a six by nine kicker. And there is another one on the other side and then you got the amp over there. Uh, again, I made all this. The rear wall, the rear window is out of a 70, 75 series, which is the bolt together cab. So that just got grafted in and I made it how I wanted. The rear window is a stock 60 series rear windows. Uh, the rear doors, so all I did was make a little frame and yeah I quite like how the rear doors of which I actually wired that hole up but for me it does its job so I got my interior light up there but I see a lot of people don't get the rear the roof lining reupholstered so I had this one fully reupholstered remade and then it was fitted so it comes down the side the B pillar is fully intact and the A pillars are fully intact so it's all brand new so now it's got the factory sun visors which barely I'm a tall bugger um, still got to find the caps for the ground whales there's none up there there's one there so um, Donaldson air filter pre-cyclonic so that catches a lot of dirt and crap. You can see in the front here, there's a fair bit of smuts there. So we're also rolling on a 16 by eight neg 25 rim. Something else you guys haven't seen yet is I'm building the tray, I'm also building the bull bar. I've also picked up new rims. So they'll be on the car shortly. Um, it's waiting for a couple of events coming up where I'd rather just have the old tires so I don't damage the new tires I've bought um, but yeah back under the bonnet we have got a H on FZJ80 master, master cylinder on a factory late model 60 double diaphragm brake booster we've also got the factory clutch booster and master here it's one thing I'd done after I broke my leg, I actually had that rebuilt so it works properly. Just takes a bit of the strain off the leg. I've also got a different turbo on this car, but again I've already got a new one on the way because this is a second hand turbo. So it's more so just for I was very hesitant about buying a brand new turbo when I built the motor because of the price, everything was I didn't have it in the budget set aside, so I found a second hand turbo for a couple of bucks off Facebook. He assured me it works, it does work. I'm just putting a brand new Monroe turbo on. I've also got a brand new 120 amp hour alternator sitting at home. I'm just waiting for the turbo, I'll do both at the same time. Um, I only really want to run 10 pound of boost down this girl. Try, you know, 
try and save it. I know you can run big boost, I don't feel like running big boost, but I've also got our EG2 Pro. I've got I've built a custom exhaust. So it's a straight pipe exhaust. And obviously right there pops up above the chassis, goes over my big fuel tank. Just fits. It pops out there. You can also see the back of all the stainless steel. The new tray won't be keeping any of this. The new tray will keep the tower lights. I've already got new reverse lights because these ones are cheap eBay's. They're already dead. It's not. It hasn't just been a year since I put them all in. They're already dead. Then got to get new stickies of these done up. So, but the fuel tank is a VDJ. 79 dpf model fuel tank it's 130 to 140 liters i've also that's staying in i've put a custom cross member in up the front there As you can see to hold the front of the tank it just bolts into the rear of the chassis um so that was all done i had a mate who was a ball he's a boiler maker i just asked him to come in and weld it because it is a chassis rail and the engine i'd rather have a boiler make a weld than i i trust my welds i don't trust my welds that much for an engineer so he also done the rear cab mount at the same time because i put a cab mount behind this in front of the rear wall so i just pulled the one from front of the wheel forward that little bit and put it in there but it all turned out pretty all right so it's you see there's my YouTube and my Instagram sticker so go follow follow us on Instagram and then you got the spotties so that says the supernova spotty what is that on top and then these are some I picked up years ago off a of mate's cruiser but I'll also be rebuilding my side steps back in the sliders these are more so for while I had uh, recovering leg which is why they never got painted or powder coated because I knew I wasn't going to keep them they were just a dodgy weekend thing to get me safely in and out of the car but now my leg is healed fine and I'm no longer going to hospital I'm seeing doctors and it's actually healed I'm going to go back to rolling my sliders so that'll also be coming why would you put a five person on the page here? yes yeah, try and hide under this wind. So I've got a few things I want to do with this car, like the bull bar, the tray obviously. We'll see how we go. But for now this is the old girl. Well, new old girl. So if you got this far through, don't forget to like and subscribe. Said so go find my Instagram. No worries. I'll catch you in the next one.